Hey guys, I know it's early in the morning. All well, kind of early in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> it's early for us. Early for live, but I have Mr. Arnold Hugo here, all the way from Manalis, and he is his last day here. Yeah, it is. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly. We'd like to keep you here. We have lots of stuff to, to learn. Uh, he's from Project Piaba. He's flown all the way up here. He's done some training sessions over in Washington. Uh, was able to attend the Aquatic Experience, and now we have brought him to Seagrass Farms to learn you know, what we can do to get Project Piaba out there, how we can get these fish in more often. Uh, a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These days are uh, very good days. Yes. So we kind of want to have a discussion. If you guys are out there and you have questions, you've got the man of the hour right here. Uh, Arnold, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you do with Project Piaba? Oh, yeah. I am one of the trainers in the Amazon. Uh, we are working with the local fishermen, the Amazonian fishermen. We are helping them to improve the quality of the fishes. And we are working them. Uh, we are working uh, too with the exporters in Manaus. We are giving them uh, technical support for improve the quality of the fishes. And um, so we are um, uh, working not just with cardinals. You know, we are. <laughs> we would like to show to you some example of uh, how many fishes we have in the Amazon. Not just cardinals. We have. Uh, uh, a lot of the species you can ask for your retailer or your aquarium store and for cigarettes too. But <laughs> of course, wait, more. they would love <laughs> <laughs> to import more uh, Amazon fishes um, in our very sustainable fishery. So explain to me a little bit about you know for the people that don't know what Project Piaba is. You know, buy a fish, save a tree is what you hear all the time, but it's so much more than that. Um, sustainable wild collection is very important as well as farming, you know. Of course. Tell me a little bit about the project. Yeah, okay. The Project Piaba is a, a non-profit um, organization. Uh, all, of, uh, all of we are um, volunteers, actually. Um, we have people in the States, in Europe, in South America. Mm -hmm. I am one of the uh, people uh, uh, who lives in, in the Amazon, actually. I live in Manaus. I am a teacher there. Uh, I, I teach for uh, fishermen and sons in the local university in a fisheries technology course and I am a, a, a project Piava volunteer. What are we doing? We are trying to uh, train uh, those, those fishermen in best handling uh, procedures right. and after uh, then we are uh, showing to the world all the fishes we have then. We are talking about the sustainable of that uh, fishery, you know, uh, uh, a lot uh, of people think uh, that the the wild plague is not uh, something good, right. but they don't know the the situation of the Amazon. That's not the case in the Amazon. In the Amazon, it's very sustainable uh, activity. So uh, that uh, people in the Amazon are taking care so well of the forest. They are. Um, uh, earning some money with those fishes and so they are able to um, feed their children, maintain their uh, traditional lifestyle and we are not doing any uh, destructive uh, environmental right. thing that you know the Amazon is suffering a lot of threats actually we have a uh, river damming we have uh, a lot of deforestation for cattle raising and soybean plantations, so, and that is uh, going very fast. And there are so few uh, traditional activities in the Amazon that are uh, sustainable, envir environmentally sustainable. Right. The aquarium fisheries is one of those, so we have to maintain and to support that activity running in, in the Amazon. That is actually our, our, our main goal. You know? That makes a lot of sense, you know, yeah. without that. Honestly, without the aquatic industry supporting this, you know, that part of the Amazon is gone. So I love that connection that just as being obvious. And, you know, simply by purchasing fish from Piava, you're really kind of a part of the bigger picture, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Uh, so, you know, uh, you have, uh, you, you can find uh, wild fishes or farm raised fishes, and all are very good. We have to uh, help each other. The, the farm and, and the wild collectors. Mm -hmm. uh, we are part of the same industry and we, we all, both are important. So, but if you uh, buy some uh, fishes from the Amazon, you are actually helping a lot to preserve the uh, rainforest, uh, especially in the, in the Rio Negro, 
in the middle of Rio Negro it is uh, where we uh, have our main uh, field of work. Uh, but you are helping a lot those traditional communities to keep their uh, lifestyle. Uh, you are preserving the, the, the forest actually. And you're talking a substantial area. It's, it's now I forgot the acreage, but it's the size of Pennsylvania. You've been studying for 25 years. I've been looking at this spot, and 40,000 people are part of this riverine area, aren't they? Oh yeah, and there are a lot of people. Uh, you know, if you go there, you will see that they are been fishing in the same spots mm -hmm. for several decades. So, and you will see those places full of fishes. You know, full of cardinals, full of a lot of species of fishes. So it's a pretty sustainable uh, activity, so uh, we have to support it. Excellent. So one of your um, reasons for coming here was to kind of put some better practices in there, you know. So coming to this and kind of seeing the final end of where these animals are coming to, you know, how we handle them. You've got a lot you can take back, don't you? <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I had a lot of, of questions in my mind because mm -hmm. I just uh, knew the, the very uh, beginning of the chain, you know, the, the fishermen and the exporters, right. and I really want to know what happened with the buyers here in the in the buyers country. Uh, so I have visited some um, aquarium stores, some retailers, and of course, the Seagrass Farm, that is the best place <laughs> that I've visited. Uh, I am very happy to be able to, to visit you and to see how very well you take care of the fishes. Very good. Thank you. We appreciate that. And yeah. as you guys know, you know, we're a huge supporter of Project Piava and really sustainable, you know, we feel it's our responsibility. It's a global effort. This is not just aquarium keeping, this is, you know, big Yeah, Seagrass Farms <laughs> is our biggest uh, support company. So they are uh, helping us a lot. Uh, they are um, helping us uh, in all of activities with the fishermen, with the courses, uh, supporting uh, us. And you know, uh, we have one uh, annual travel uh, along the Rio Negro in January, always in January. Yes, you need to be there. <laughs> yeah, you have to go there. Yes, yeah. come collect. You can collect with Arnold down there. Yeah. Uh, we still have uh, three places for you if you want to. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's an excellent opportunity to you see, to you see the how sustainable is that industry uh, in the Amazon and how uh, much those people in the Amazon need or support uh, bringing their fishes here. Absolutely. So that's pretty fantastic. I think that gives you guys a snapshot. You have a fantastic book here. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. I was talking about that, uh, that trip in, in the Rio Negro, right? So, uh, this person, I, I don't know how, how can you... Oh, Simon Montgomery. Okay, mm -hmm. and the pictures are from... Yes, Keith okay. Allen. Okay, they were traveling with us in the, uh, I think, two years ago uh, mm -hmm. trip in the Rio Negro. So, they took amazing pictures from there. And uh, she uh, wrote this amazing book, especially for young people. Yeah who is telling you all about the, the fisheries in the Rio Negro and um, let uh, allow you to see one of the scenes, the amazing scenes that you will be able to see in the Rio Negro. For example, one of the fishermen there, uh, they are handling fishes. And some of our work, you know, a lot of information, a lot, uh, for example, about the ornamental festival in, in <laughs> Barcelos <awesome. laughs> is a very amazing party. You have to go there someday. So the whole city um, dance with the ornamental fishes in two big groups, the Cardinal Teacher Group and the Discus Group. <laughs> so it's a very funny uh, party. You have to see you for yourself. So a lot of amazing information, a lot of information actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the boat uh, when we uh, travel. There is an amazing boat. Uh, you can see a lot of amazing place like uh, uh, that uh, fluvial archipelago. Uh, we have a lot of islands in the Rio Negro, a lot of uh, clear uh, streams, clear water streams where you can snorkeling. So it's a, uh, it's a very good experience. I recommend this book to you. It's available in Amazon. Yeah, but I say if you're a teacher looking for a great educational platform for all ages, this is a great book. This is a great project for kids to get involved in um, at any age, really, to really. Of course. You know, the Cardinal Tech is kind of the, the ambassador to this project, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are.
but they are not the only, you know? No. <laughs> you have to ask for <laughs> more fishes. <laughs> we have hundreds of species, you know, yeah, that you can keep at home. Uh, for every uh, type of aquarium, we have fishes for nano aquariums, we have fishes for medium aquariums, for large aquariums, so we have everything <laughs> in the Amazon. You have to ask for uh, Amazon fishes, you know? Well, I really appreciate you coming on here. I appreciate you visiting the U.S. and taking this knowledge back to Project Piava uh, to be able to bring us more fish in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you guys.